This is an 03 Ford Ranger and I just got done packing the wheel bearings on it because I just bought the thing and I had my doubts that the wheel bearings were greased and adjusted right. I already know my stabilizer links are in a real bad way. My shocks, I'm going to change shocks right now and I got other work to do on it but first thing I'm going to do is on this bolt right here. I'm going to try not to take this thing off. I shouldn't have to. This bolt right here is the top stud of the of the shock. There's the shock right here inside this coil spring. That's it, that's it right in there. And the bottom is the easiest part to take off. We're not going to mess with that yet. Let's get the top first. I'm going to spray this. need two hands to spray it because I'm holding the camera with one hand and I got to hold this flap up with the other. I got this wheel off because I wanted to do the wheel bearing and um, I really don't need to have the wheel off but it is going to give me a little bit more room to work. Um, I'm going to let the jack back down because I'm not tall enough to reach over this while it's jacked up. I'm just going to let the jack down. I'm going to go ahead and take this this uh, stud off. We can see it right here through the top behind that little black hose that's in front of it. That's the stud right there. We're going to take that off from up here with a deep well socket and an extension. And we're going to try this 3 8 drive stubby impact wrench. Uh, compliments of Justin Sturgill Trucking and his channel on YouTube and uh, let's see if this little stubby, stubby's only got about half the power of the regular standard one I think but let's give it a try let's see if it'll take it off it's spinning is the nut coming off Looks like it is, yeah. Or maybe the shock is spinning down there. We'll have to put a vice grips on the shock, on the top of that uh, shock down there. I had to put a jack stand underneath it, but it's off to the side. It's not under the shock. The shock is right there. The jack stand is over here, and that's because I don't want to have to move it again to get the bottom of the shock off. I just had to do that so I could push the shock back up as that as it was that nut was coming loose. But I had to push this up so I can get a vice grip on here and grab hold of it. This flap is a nuisance to get a vice grip on here and then I can go ahead and take this off because this whole thing is spinning there. Got the vice grip securely fastened on the threaded part underneath this washer and this nut. Now I can go back on top get that off with the impact. There's my nut. It's a washer also. That's nice. Now all I gotta do is take these off on the bottom. And I'm not gonna do that on camera, I'm just gonna take them off. These two right here. And then pull the shock out of there. And that's how you change the shock. Put the other one in the same way. Pulled my vice grip off. The shock just fell down. Now I'm compressing the shock because it was stretched out so I've got room to get it out of there now I'm going to match it up to the new ones it's going to take an awful lot of work to make this shock fit I am going to put it back in the box take it back Just waste an hour of my time hour and a half whatever it takes going back to the store and exchanging this
got to put all my tools away, lock everything up. I made it back with the uh, other shocks. It's been about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. And I don't have my original shock. It had a different kind of rubber. I left it up there. It's just too far to go back up there again. That's AutoZone. They take no responsibility whatsoever for my lost time. Um, that's not slander. That's just simple telling the truth. So these rubbers and washers are a little bit different so I'm putting this one on like this this one goes down here and this one I'm holding that between my knees because I'm holding the camera with my other hand and I'm going to put this on here I already pushed it down and pulled it back off to get it on camera I need both hands and I got to push pretty hard to get this rubber all the way down down here over this wider part. It goes over the threaded part but it doesn't want to go over this without pushing it hard. Let me get that on there. Okay I just pushed it down it's on there. Now I gotta put the shock up through the hole you know through the spring there from the bottom got to push it up through the hole and then when it comes out the top of the hole then I got to try to put this on it up here far enough on it to get the washer on it's just going to want to push the shock back down it's going to fight with me a little bit but I'll have to fight I'll have to make it work I may have to put a little grease inside here to get it to go down over that got the bottom of it in place I had to compress the shock and it is gas charged and it did keep trying to open back up again but I compressed it I got it started up in the hole here and and just pushed it on all the way up to the top and then I put my fingers up here just felt around until the the top of it came through the threaded part and then uh, had to line up the uh, holes here with the bolts with the studs and get the nuts started on it got that done now when I climb back out of here and we'll look up here on top this was leaning against this tower here this thread part was leaning against one side and it wasn't centered I had to push it over till it was centered because I wanted this piece here to be in that hole in that uh, frame there and not under the edge of the hole I wanted it in the center of the hole so I'm going to push this one on the top let's see if it'll go down without putting grease on it I'm trying whatever it takes I'm going to get it down there well it doesn't really matter because we've got enough thread on top that I could just put the nut on it and, and thread it down and it'll just force its way down so now why it's got two nuts I don't know okay I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down I gotta tighten these on the bottom and that shock is done we'll do the same thing on the other side and then we'll do uh, stabilizer links. I went on and tightened that nut down until it bottomed out. Should be good now. Just going to repeat the process on the other side. But the other side is going to get another job. It'll be another video. It's going to get a upper control arm and a ball joint. This ball joint in here is bad.